All right, hey guys, welcome back for another Bark Box. This is our last Bark Box of 2020. This box is an extra special box. It's kind of Christmassy slash holiday themed, and it is a double deluxe box, so it's got twice as much fun stuff in it. Now the first thing we're getting out is from the Home Alone movie themed portion of the box. This is Kevin's paint can. It is a plush item that has another surprise item inside. It's got a bungee on the uh, paint can for a handle, and it's got, I think, a squeaker inside, but they're having a good time hitting that so far. Now, as per the usual, we have Weiner and Epic going to town on our box. Still working on that paint can. And these are our two male southern ground hornbills, um, if this is your first time watching one of our bark boxes. Weiner is the gentleman in the back there, and Epic's the one who's a little bit closer with his back to us right now. And they're checking out their boxes. They took the easy way into the box today. Ooh, and it looks like they got another thing out. That is a tarantula, also from the movie Home Alone. So that is Kevin, the main character's brother's pet tarantula. It's a little plushy. They're shaking it up right now. It also has a squeaker in it. But you can see, um, this is actually the way that hornbills would break their prey into smaller pieces for eating. It's not gonna work quite so well on a plushie, but they'll take it and they'll shake it and see if anything becomes looser or easier to manipulate. And we got another thing out. That looks like Harry, one of the villains from the movie Home Alone. There's another plush guy. He's got a squeaker in him and some really adorable plush flames coming off the top of his head. Got a good bounce and squeak on him. Epic's having a good time. And we've got L off to the side here, watching, waiting to get in on the action. So Epic is attacking our home invader here. Maybe this is what Kevin needed in that movie, is a hornbill to help defend his house. Hi, Weiner. We're heading back to that paint can. Looks like he's working his way over towards uh, Harry with that paint can. So while Epic's working on the paint can plush, Elle's over here coming in to check out the box and see what else is in there. Making some curious sounds. <laughs> so Elle's always been the more reserved of our three hornbills here, a little more cautious about enrichment. A little more hesitant to join in on stuff. She relies on the boys to figure things out first. Hi, Weiner. Hi. Oh, it looks like we got our last Home Alone themed plush out of the box. That's Marv the other villain from Home Alone, Home Invader there. And apparently he's not as exciting as Harry. We're diving back into the box to pull out some of our Peanuts themed toys. That's the Winter Wonderland Snowball. So that one will be fun for them to hit. It's really solid. Um, they can also grab it by the strap and fl uh, fling it around, chase it. Going back to the box. We're pulling out the label. A little bit of light reading. 
Aw, and it looks like Epic's revealed a secret message at the bottom of our label there, at the bottom of our box. It says, uh, happy holidays, you filthy animals. It looks like we might be done with the box here. There's still stuff in it. But we're going to take that stuff and travel to another set of birds and see what they think about it. All right, guys, we're back for part two here in the Kia exhibit. We got Newton already at the box, opening it up. Now, we didn't bring everything over from Hornbills. We did leave the paint can and Harry, but we did bring over the tarantula, which is the first item out of the box here for Newton. <laughs> Kia are pretty easily engaged by different textures, so this plush is kind of novel for him. It makes a fun crinkle sound too. So that's pretty enticing. We're gonna pull out Marv, who also makes a fun crinkle sound. A lot of fun textures. You can see um, he's probing them all over with his beak, but he's also sticking his tongue out and licking them, which is one of the ways that Kia engage with different like tactile, like physical senses is they'll test them out with their tongue. Check in our box again, see what else is in there. It's a pretty tall box. Maybe not worth the effort right now. He's gonna go back to the plush toys. Carry our bad guy around by the head. yet another bird that Kevin might have wanted with him during the movie Home Alone. We got Scarlet coming up in the background there. So Kia are a super fun species of bird from New Zealand. And one of the big things that they really enjoy spending time doing is playing. Kia are very, very social with one another, especially when they're young. And playing is something that they do very frequently. We got Scarlet running away with our tarantula there. Bye. Uh, um, they will often... Um, <laughs> work together to figure out harder puzzles and enrichments. Um, obviously these aren't too super complex, so they're working separately. Um, they'll wrestle with each other sometimes, engage in different sort of play behaviors. They're also known to be um, a species that vocalizes when they play. They make this, this vocalization, this call that sounds a lot like laughter to us. Um, and some people say that they are one of the only species besides humans that have contagious laughter, quote unquote, um, because oftentimes when Kia make that laughter like call, it encourages other Kia to also make that call. So it's like having a contagious laughter. All right, so we paused real quick to take the other items out of the box because they seem like they were a little bit heavy for them to lift out of that really tall box today. And so these other four things are our Peanuts slash Snoopy themed items. We're still a little obsessed with the plush here though. Um, so we have the Winter Wonderland Snowball that we saw with the Hornbills. We've got Snoopy's Bell and Snoopy's Doghouse back there, which are more solid nylon toys that really withstand chewing. And then behind Newton, we have um, a little Snoopy who is solid rubber and has kind of a wacky bounce. But... Newton and Scarlet are both super jazzed about their plushies and they're going to work on those guys for a while. <laughs> so we're going to leave them to it, but thank you guys for tuning in for another Bark Box. It's our last one of 2020. And again, like I said last week, thank you to Bark Box, especially Super Chewer Bark Box, for sending us all these toys. We're having a blast with them.